This guy is about to feed his pet. Considering the big chain link fence, you'd think it's got to be some mean pit bull. It isn't. This pet is a 13 foot gator named Gwendolyn. Oh, look at this pepperoni. That's right, pepperoni pizza for lunch. Hey, you ready for a cookie? And who knew alligators have a sweet tooth? Mm -mm -mm. There you go. Gwendolyn has been David Van Buren's pet for 47 years. Yep, gators do have a long lifespan that can go beyond half a century. Gwen lives in a walled-in pond. Barbed wire sits atop an eight-foot fence to keep her from wandering off. Gwendolyn, come out. Van Buren has twin eight-year-old daughters. They're allowed to feed Gwen, but never alone. We like to feed him cookies and, like yeah. yeah, and pizza. Not surprisingly, some of Van Buren's neighbors are a little ticked off at having a gator so close, especially after a two-year-old boy at Disney World was killed by a gator six weeks ago. Animal expert Jared Miller says having a gator as a pet is a ticking time bomb. Having this animal for as long as this individual has, he's formed a specific relationship, but that, that doesn't take the alligator out of the alligator. I mean, they're still predatory, they're still a large risk. Gwen has escaped her surroundings once before, but way back in 1994, the situation escalated into a headline-making court battle. Uh, we'll sell the house if we have to. Back then, Van Buren right. won, and Gwen was there returned to her pond. Wow. Now, 22 years later, Van Buren may be older, for that matter, so is Gwendolyn, but he is still devoted to his pet. Unfortunately, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission is saying that Gwen has grown too large for the backyard pond, and it's time to find a new home for her. But this family wants Gwendolyn to stay right here, at home, eating pepperoni pizza.